welcome to a new in the mail episode where I will be opening and discussing my mail on camera. As always, please excuse the already opened items. Uh, I have explained in previous videos that customs here in uh, Romania do open every package I receive uh, just to make sure you're not importing anything illegal or you're not getting away without paying the required tax. First we have this small envelope which says electronic components on the customs declaration and inside we have a bunch of LEDs these are uh, 0805 and 0603 LEDs in cut tape in various colors I don't think I've shown this before but I keep this uh, LED kit in my lab it's this small plastic box where I keep 0603 and 0805 LEDs in various colors. This is very useful as I, as I don't have to plan and purchase these things individually for each and every prototype I assemble. I just know that I can put in there any 0603 or 0805 LED in the PCB design and then I'll have some in my kit for a quick assembly. These won't be the best quality or the most efficient LEDs as they most likely come from the one hung low LED manufacturer in Shenzhen but they will be okay for prototyping work and anything that I build and sell will get branded LEDs from a known distributor. Next we have this uh, small plastic envelope which on the customs form was marked as charger for obvious reasons because inside we have two batteries and uh, as you know they're not supposed to ship batteries by airmail so they just marked it as a charger so it will get past the uh, security checks easier these are a pair of ICR18650 26F lithium ion rechargeable batteries which I bought for something over ten dollars shipped these ones should be original Samsung cells. So far I've been using Ultrafire knockoffs. Well, at least I think they are knockoffs because of their low price. But I wanted to try a pair of these Samsung ones. As they are much more expensive, I thought they should also have some advantages over the cheap ones. At first glance, these should be only 2600 mAh as opposed to the claimed 3000 mAh for the ultra fire knockoffs. By looking at the data sheet of these cells we see they have a standard recommended 0.5C charging current and the max discharge current at 2C which is 5.2 amps. I guess I'll have to run this through a discharge cycle and compare the results. I'm hoping to see either better capacity or better discharge current and in the long term maybe extended life due to a higher number of charge cycles considering they're supposed to be higher quality. Next up we have this small package coming from the United Kingdom so let's open this and see what we have inside This is a Panasonic NCR18650B, at least I'm hoping it's a Panasonic and not a, a knockoff. The datasheet for this claim uh, 3200 mAh and same as with the Samsung cells I got earlier, I wanted to give this one a try and see how it compares to a standard 18650. Let's take a look at its datasheet for the charging characteristics because I suspect this one might not like the standard 18650 charging curve. So I got the Panasonic datasheet for this cell on the screen and it seems this cell will charge up to 4.2 volts which is standard. It has a nominal voltage of 3.6 volts which is also standard. A lower than standard 2.5 volts cutoff voltage and a recommended charging current of 0.5C which again is quite standard for these uh, 18650 cells. But what's interesting is this graph right here which is showing on purple the discharge rate for 2C. That means 6.4 amps discharge current 
which is quite impressive to uh, be able to get out of this tiny cell. I will be putting that to a test in a, a future video. Next up, let's see what we have in this envelope. These are ESD safe storage bags. I got these from eBay, if I remember correctly. In uh, They should be a hundred pieces and uh, they were about five dollars shipped. I will use these to store various ESD sensitive electronic components. These are zipped so you can easily seal them to prevent dust and moisture uh, from getting inside. Quite a handy thing to have in your electronics workshop. Next up we have one in the uh, classic format, the yellow envelope. And in here we have a set of 10 pieces 4-pin JST connectors with wires and corresponding 4-pin PCB sockets. These are usually sold and advertised as 3S JST connectors for lithium battery packs for balancing the pack. However, you can use them for anything really and I might use them in a power supply project to connect a fan to the PCB or for easy connection of the potentiometers to the PCB because it's easier to just unplug than to have desolder the, the wires connecting something to your PCB. This 10 pack was uh, somewhere around $2 shipped. Next up, another package from China and in here we have two of these uh, modules and if I'm not mistaken these things should be uh, step up converters and uh, the way they work is you input something like 3.6 volts or 4 volts uh, on this end from example a uh, lithium polymer cell and on this USB port you get a regulated 5 volt supply that you can use for example to uh, charge uh, a USB device or anything like that. The construction on this looks reasonable. I'm not sure about the quality of the components uh, so I would not trust these modules in any serious project. But for a uh, quick fix and they are probably good enough to have around the uh, electronics lab. For our next item we have the RC522 MyFair Reader Writer IC from NXP. In fact it's not just the reader but a complete working module with all the required passives and antenna. Let me just get this out of its uh, sealed bag. So you get the uh, reader writer module, uh, a couple of tags, this one is in the form of a keychain and this one in the form of a card and you get the associated uh, pin headers in both straight and um, bent 90 degrees angle that you'll have to solder here on the module and you, you can connect to whatever your uh, microcontroller uh, is for example you can connect to an Arduino. As I was browsing through electronics modules I saw this one and I had to have it because who knows I might have a project for it later on the road and I wouldn't want to wait for weeks for it to arrive. This one also comes with an S50 blank card and an S50 keychain as advertised on the website. So. The only, ha the only thing you have to do is to hook it up to your Arduino, get the library for it and you're instantly reading and writing these MyFair cards. This one was somewhere around uh, $4 shipped. This small grey envelope is the only one which escaped uh, customs and I believe that is because it came from inside the e European Union.
and uh, judging by the logo I see right here this is the Xiaomi 5000 milliamp power power bank I got this from uh, Banggood and it was advertised as original Xiaomi although I'm using the anchor power bank I showed in a previous in the mail episode I wanted to try this one out of the uh, Xiaomi products just to see how they look and feel the battery wa was $14 shipped and I must say I'm impressed how it looks and feels all around really nice anodized aluminum case certainly is worth $14 as I have purchased much worse for $14 in previous occasions here is a close-up of the power bank this one is only 9.9 .9 millimeters thick and weighing 150 grams according to its specs but let's put that to a test in a moment so what I have here is a uh, kitchen scale and the Xiaomi battery as we can see it weighs 158 grams which is close enough to the claim 150 grams and uh, next up I also have my one hung low uh, digital caliper and I'd like to check the thickness of uh, this thing and it's 10.26 millimeters thick and I believe the claimed thickness for it was 9.9 .9 millimeters so it's not exactly on spec on its thickness the power bank has only one output capable of 2.1 amps and the obligatory capacity tester which will show in increments of 25% how much juice you have left this one is from Texas Instruments and I should thank TI for offering this for free they advertised this promotion code over email for their precision amplifier quick start kit which I used to place this order and get the kit for free shipping included so let's see what we get inside bunch of bubble wrap some uh, monkey bread this is just an invoice this is how the kit looks here is a close-up of the kit the kit includes six samples, three low power low voltage amplifiers and three low power wide supply amplifiers and a deep adapter evaluation module for prototyping surface mount ICs in the various packages. The op-amps supplied in this kit are advertised as general purpose but considering their low power and low noise figures they are well suited for battery powered sensing applications where one must amplify the signal from a sensor for example this thing is usually twenty nine dollars plus shipping from their online store let's take a look inside at the supplied op-amps and the uh, PCB kit I see some headers sticking out here You get a table with the uh, all the six op-amps supplied and uh, for each you get the most important uh, features I wonder how many pieces are of each op-amp inside these uh, pouches oh so you'll only get one piece of uh, each op-amp 
but considering you have six of them that should be enough for evaluation and this is their uh, tiny surface mount to deep adapter let me just zoom in on this so considering these uh, op amps come in very small surface mount packages like uh, SOT like, like SOT 23.5 uh, or SC70 uh, and you might want to use these uh, for prototyping and measuring you would solder the op amp on one of these small uh, adapter PCBs and then you can add uh, deep headers 0.1 inch spaced deep headers that you can connect to your measuring and test equipment or uh, whatever your setup is. This kit is usually $29 plus shipping on their uh, on the TI online shop but as I've mentioned I got this for free by using a coupon code they advertised over email so I recommend you create an account with TI and subscribe to the topics that interest you and you will be getting uh, news and maybe who knows coupon codes like uh, I got mine and you can use those for placing orders like this for free as usual links for all the products will be in the description below I hope you enjoyed watching me open mail on camera and remember your likes and comments really encourage me to continue doing these videos. Thank you for watching and see you next time.